Hi friends, we're in John chapter 15 today, and whereas John chapter 14, Jesus offers his peace, in this chapter, he reminds them of his offer of love. In fact, in John chapter 15, one of the best sections of John is found in this chapter as Jesus is having this dialogue prior to the cross. And he says, as the Father has loved me, so now I have loved you. And then the verse I wrote down was John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this than to lay down his life for his friends, for, his, for the people around him, his life. Greater love has no one than this than to lay down his life for his friends. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Love is often attributed to what we receive when actually greater love is all in what we give. There was a time many years ago where I was driving to work and felt the need to get some caffeine. So I stopped at Starbucks along the way, get in line, or make my order. The barista uh, takes my order, keys it in, and then pulls a card from behind the register and reaches around and inserts the card into the reader and then charges this card with my drink order. I was like, what are you doing? I was trying to pay cash. No, no, I gave this, used this card that she had around the register to pay the drink. And I asked what was going on. And when she said a man had came in earlier that day, bought a large card, a large amount on a card, then left the card with her and the baristas there and said, charge this card with all the drinks that come in until you run out of money on this card. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who that guy was, but I want to follow him into Starbucks all the time. <laughs> Isn't that interesting how love works? The man who put up this card had no idea who I was or any of the people that were going to come in, had no clue what we were going to order or what we were going to need. All he did was out of love, share a resource that would bless the rest of us. Well, Jesus does something far greater than that. He, he is the one who went to the cross in a few hours after this is written to demonstrate love to all of mankind. People that have never seen him, did not know him, had not been in that area for thousands of years. And yet, like that card in the Starbucks, he left a card of forgiveness that charges our account, pays for our price for our account so that our sins can be paid for and our debt is washed free. Isn't that interesting? All of that from a Starbucks visit. Greater love is no one than this, than to lay down his life for his friends. And I no longer call you servants. I call you my friends. Here's, here's what Jesus is saying. Love is not something you receive. It's something you give. It's something we all need to give. As he has loved by giving to us, we now have the responsibility of using that gift to love others around us. As the Father loved Jesus, he demonstrated his love to us. And here now, as he has loved us, we now need to give that gift to others. Jesus is telling his disciples in John 15, you've been given a gift. Now use it to love mankind the way I have loved you. God bless you as you demonstrate that love to somebody today. Maybe you want to go to Starbucks and start a little card of a gift for people in line. Or maybe there's somebody in your life who you need to give love to. Be the demonstration of Jesus' love by giving them love today. See you next time.